the internet was very fast moving technology. And what we had to do was, uh, you know, the very essence of the internet was a decentralized medium where the creativity of everybody could, you know, create new standards, create new technologies, create new everything. It started out as this little server with a bunch of names on it. And suddenly it was like this big piece of infrastructure. IANA, the numbering system, was coordinated by John Postel at the University of Southern California out of a, an office that uh, was treacherous to walk in. I mean, it was this small office you walk in and there were piles of paper everywhere and so on. Eventually it became problematic to have, it, have such a weighty operation being operated uh, as an appendage, as a, out of a back pocket, if you will, of one of the researchers, John Postel. John recognized, he'd been doing this for 25 or more years, that someday he wouldn't be able to do it and that he ought to have a, uh, an institutional uh, setting for this to continue. The last thing the internet needs is bureaucracy. And it's going to be much better if it's stakeholder based and, and bottoms up rather than top down. There's got to be some place where you can go to resolve disputes. There's got to be some place to set policy. And if we want more TLDs, there needs to be an organization that will do it. ICANN is a funny, peculiar, um, odd duck in the, in the spectrum. Um, uh, it is serving a global purpose, uh, serving the entire world, um, and yet it is a non-governmental organization. participation is not only from the technical community, which was the case in the beginning, but you can see a wide spectrum of uh, disciplines participating from legal to civil society to government. ICANN has had its bumps in, you know, along the way, and it's had its frictions, and it's had its fights, and it's everything else. But that's democracy. It's scaled up. It's done everything you would want it to do technically. On balance, the internet has worked.